hey YouTube so um, today I just thought I'd show you the um, Leatherman Super Tool 300 and the Leatherman Charge TTI Titanium um, the Titanium also comes in a aluminium version and uh, I believe it's identical apart from obviously the, the scales are titanium and the other one are aluminium so you get a slightly lower price on the aluminium one <coughs> so uh, I don't see many, obviously there's loads of videos on these tools individually don't see uh, many comparing them and if you're making a purchase uh, and you've narrowed it down it's quite often nice to compare the two side by side now uh, the super tool is a super duty tool that's what they describe it as on the Leatherman website and um, it is slightly bigger than the than the charge but the charge comes with some uh, tool packs and once you've got it all together in your pocket or in the pouch there is not a lot in it um, obviously you don't need to carry these so the charge can be slightly smaller um, so first of all we'll just compare the weights because the uh, the reason not to carry a multi-tool is the size and weight they uh, tend to be too bulky and too heavy in the pocket compared to something like a um, a Victorinox uh, Swiss Army knife so the super tool is a heavy old unit which is 290 grams or uh, 10.2 ounces the charge is 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams and with the tools it goes up to 339 which is 12 ounce so uh, yeah if you're carrying the tools that does make a difference so we'll get rid of them. Right, let's uh, let's open these up. Obviously, the main thing with a Leatherman you get is the pliers, and um, Leatherman do them very well. So this is the huge benefit over the Swiss Army knife style multi tools. Um, I know Victorinox do their own multi tool, but I haven't got that. So. I can't compare it, but I believe it is comparable to these, it's a, it's a very nice top quality item, which the Levermans are. So that's uh, that's the pliers on the 300, and this is the, uh, this is the charge. Okay, so you can see these are a bit smaller, and the biggest difference is the, the cutting blades in there. On the, uh, on the 300 they are replaceable. So they actually come out and you can replace them. These are also 420 high carbon steel. So actually I'll tell the light, sorry, these are 154 cm steel, which is uh is more durable than the uh well it retains an edge longer than the 420. So the um yeah we've got a mixture of steels in here. Leverman are obviously a big well established known company so the heat treatment on the steels is probably uh, right up there with the best, at least I'd hope so. Um. <coughs> so yeah you get more capability, there's uh, crimpers built in up there which uh, to me are limited use. They're both fairly fine. Get the ends. Not sure we're gonna get that. Yeah, there you go, they're fairly fine. And um the mark of any quality tool is how they close up. See that if you see cheaper tools they probably won't close up. And I think the uh the 300 actually closes up even better. You can that very last tooth is the uh, point of contact there, so it gives you a really nice grip on something thin. So if you've got a bit of paper, it grips it a treat. Actually, leaves a indent where it gripped it. 
go. And that's just a bit of paper to remind me what I paid for these two. So um, the charge, the titanium certainly is really a different price point. Um, yeah, at the minute it's on Amazon at about £140. Whereas the uh, Super Tools 90, well, I actually paid 50 quid for that one and 125 for that because I, I got them both on the, on the deals on Amazon. Um, so yeah, you get my honest opinion. I've paid for both of these with my own money and um, you know, I've not been sent anything. I've got no reason to, uh, to big level them up over any other company. And uh, I'd certainly recommend looking at Victorian Ox. But um, let's carry on. I'll ramble away otherwise. So the tools on the charge are accessible from the outside, um, or at least the, the main ones. And then you've got the smaller tools accessible on the inside. That differs in the all the tools on the 300 are, um, are in the inside of the tool. So when you've got it closed up, it's a sealed unit like that, which obviously makes it slower. Um, you have to open the tool every time. But the plus side of that is it's nice and smooth. Um, it's a big hunger metal. Actually, I like the look of this. It's nice, just pressed stainless steel, I think. But it looks nice. And uh, of course, the knife can't open accidentally in your pocket very easy. <laughs> Whereas on the charge, I guess, potentially, <coughs> they could come open like that in your pocket. Although there is a decent, a decent detent on them. Um, and the charge also has this thumb hole so you can do one handed open obviously they're locking so this is locked with a liner lock whereas the uh, 300 is a lock back so you push that in and uh, if you if you open another tool with it locked because this this portion here locks into the spine of all of them as you bring that back, so there it releases the lock so the other one comes down. Just uh, just where it's built, no issue. Um, yep. So let's get onto the onto the main blade. I use these a lot. You'll obviously get used to where they are. But uh, multi tools you don't tend to use a lot. I don't find. Um, I love the things, but never actually use them. Uh, so. The main blade on this one is a uh, 420HC, I believe, and uh, that compares to the S30V, which is a, a powdered steel. It's a lovely steel on the um, on the charge. Now the charge, once sharpened, will hold its edge a lot longer. The, um, the S30V does retain an edge but it is harder to sharpen so you'll do it less but you'll um, you'll need to, a bit more skill and a bit more time to sharpen it um, and the two side by side there's not a lot of difference the uh, super tool is marginally longer but it's uh, there's not a lot in it Okay, so um, yeah, neither are really better than the other, but plus and minuses to uh, to each still. Um, then we've got a file on both of them. <coughs> now the uh, the files are not particularly impressed with the files, to be quite honest. I've not been on. Uh, on any sort of multi tool, um, but the charge does have a diamond side there, which is quite good. This uh, super tool has the traditional sort of cross pattern that the charge does on the other side, and then it just has this plain one. And um, they do their job, but uh, a proper file beat them any day of the week. Like like a lot of the tools, a specific tool will always be a multi-tool in the majority of cases. Even the pliers. So yeah they both have that feature. In uh, fact let's pull all these out. 
So the super tool, you then have a, a ring, attach it to your key ring, I guess. Uh, you have an awl. No, it's a, it's a nice awl. Let's, uh, let's see, does the level one have that? The level. The, uh, the charge. Doesn't have an awl. I didn't think it did. Doesn't have one on the charge, so you lose you lose the all. That depends how um how keen you are on using an all, whether you need one. Uh, same with any multi tool, you need to look at the tools you get and just go based on that really. Uh the all on a Victorinox is in my mind better anyway. At least this does have the hole in it. And um I quite often use them just to reap to punch a hole and ream. This has got a um a sort of relief in it there, so it does, it will work as a as a reaming tool. Um, and then we got two two flat blade screwdrivers. Now those are better than you get on something like the Victorian Ox knives, because um, as you can see they're machined, so they're nice and sharp. The tips are nice and sharp, and they they work really well. What you'll find quite often on cheap tools is that it's just shaped rather than machined down, and it's not sharp, and it ends up rounding out, not getting a good grip. So um, that's all of it on that side. Uh, the reason I haven't showed you the screwdriver on this one is it's kind of a mute point. So you've got on the charge, you do have one there, just that flat head there. But um, of course, what you do get is the bit set. So we'll come back to that in a second. We'll pop onto the other side of the super tool. There, you've got the saw. So. Let's come back over here. Obviously, we've got saw on the charge, and there we go. They're near identical now. Again, super tool. What? It's got two extra teeth at the end. Um, both are nice saws. You'll be you'd be surprised what you can cut through with these tiny little saws. I mean, you're not going to go out into the wilderness and and build a shelter with one if you can help it, but you you probably could and um, they work really well for their size no match for a, uh, a Baku or a Silky but uh, if you haven't got anything else you'll uh, appreciate having that and of course if you're uh, if you're in a workshop or whatever then it'll work on plastic and you can just uh, rough stuff up on it quite well so saws are pretty much equal on both and we get another Another flathead screw. Obviously, you get a full complement of flatheads really on the uh, on the super tool. Again, nice and sharp. Then you get a Phillips head. Now, unfortunately, it's a Phillips head, and um, you don't see so many of them nowadays. This uh, any on cheap equipment really. You get the Phillips head. I think they mainly replace with uh, with a, a posi drive with the extra little fins in there, or even better, a Torx bit. But never mind. It is it is well made and it's got some reach. So that that slim shaft does allow you to get in places at least. Um, then we've got the tin opener, <coughs> common to every tool. And um, yeah, it's a tin opener. It's all right. And a serrated blade. This is uh, also a 420. Uh, a high carbon steel which is the same for the charge so we come in, um, there is a slight difference here can I open it like that? so the charge I believe is a 420, it doesn't actually say on the website um, but I would imagine it's it's the same sort of steel same serrations on them and uh, near identical length obviously with the charge you get the one handed opening again on the outside quickly accessible and it has this little seat belt cutter or hook cutter or you can use it zip ties it's really good for zip ties actually and um, get it in in there but as you can see yeah same blade I mean, it's 
nothing in it there. So that is the super tool done, and we'll see how this compares. So on the inside, we get the same bolt opener. Yeah, can opener. And then here, swing these out, you get that flat head I showed you, you get this, the, uh, this is a really good, really handy tool. So this is like the uh, glasses screwdriver, a real fine screwdriver. And that's held in there. Now that is, uh, that's a really handy little tool when it gets into sort of uh, electronics, you can reset things, reset buttons and things like that, like the SIM cards. Um, any sort of little pin where you require a pin that's uh, almost as fine and works quite well so that is is a very handy tool and the scissors now the scissors yeah they work but no when they're so tiny nice clean cut work fine but you uh, you're only going to want when they use them uh, last resort you want a proper pair really so That's that really is all all that's on the charge, except this. This is uh, this is the bit that really elevates the tool, and this is the uh, the bits. So you can uh, just pop your bit out. They're held in fairly well. They've got a little piece of spring metal in there that retains them, so they don't come out easy. But you can, you can grab and put them. So sort of medium tension there unlikely to get caught in a uh, in a fix in certainly a crosshead um, particularly as these are 2D cuts so, well, I think they call them 2Ds obviously they're 3D on him um, but they're slimmer on that profile so they fit the bit so they don't engage fully but they're not bad they do work and they give this loads more capability each tool's got two sides you can just flip it and uh, you've got that and this one came with these tools you can see you get, get a fair few there so you've got the Torx bits, the Allen heads and um, on the other slide you get another sunglasses screwdriver um, so you get the Phillips and the Posi heads more torques and um, more flats, loads of flat heads. Look. So that gives you huge capability. The only issue, obviously, it's not a screwdriver in width, so you can't uh, you can't get into recessed screws or anything like that. So yeah, that's uh, that's the two compared. I hope that was useful. Um, you can probably tell I didn't actually rehearse this video and. Um, I like both of them at the price point. Um, well, they're in, diff they're in different price points, so it's. I mean, they're both as good as one another. Really, you do get the uh, the bit capability with the with this. There's no reason you can't carry something separate. And um, this one is uh, slightly bigger, slightly beefier. And uh, that's the Thanks for watching. Bye.